Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a 14 by 14 inch canvas, no time at all to play. And I've been trying not to play all day, trying to get my work done, and it has worked very poorly. It has distracted the heck out of me. So, I think I'm just going to take some of my maiden paint and put it in the middle of this canvas. And I might have more than I need, it looks like. So I'm going to grab a little scrape dish and take some of it off. That's how nice the blade on this OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula is. Available on my Amazon link, by the way. So I'm only doing this because I'm going to put some paint around the edges. Wow, I can't believe how much extra I used. I'm just going to throw that in the bucket. I am going to grab some. I have some Amsterdam Black with 10 drops to 2 ounces. 10 drops of pre-stained wood conditioner from Minwax. That's not open. That's not a good start. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm just going to take the paint that I've got from yesterday. And this was some old gold that I had. And then I put some iridescent, iridescent gold from Golden in it. And it, it dried so pretty. Now this is going to get pretty strange pretty quick because I've got a strange tool I made up. It has a large straw and I hit it on myself. It has a large straw with a chopstick running down the middle of it. I super glued, what is it, gel, super glued gel onto this makeup applicator. I wish it had been the rounded outside, the con convex side, but it's not. But I think it'll still work because I tried it and it was okay. Just got to be careful to not stick it down in the middle because it becomes a suction cup. All right, so now I'm just going to take colors that I like. And use them. That was an Anita's white metallic that has a little tiny bit of pink neon in it. This is a hot orchid, a prism pour from Color Art. This is a neon pink from Folk Art. I wanted some red. I never did find the red. Where is the red? There's the red. I might want magenta instead, but let's just put that around the center. I think I'm going to have to have some orange in there to make myself happy, but I'll start with the Decoid Americana 24 karat gold that has a little bit of orange in it. purple around my outside edge. I never did clear that tip and I need to do that really quickly. I'm not sure how good that's going to look, but I'm still going to try it because it's my favorite. It's a neon neon purple from Folk Art that's a multi-surface acrylic and then I put a whole bunch, a whole bunch of golden iridescent pearl fine into it. I don't know how this is going to work, but I am somewhat hopeful. All right, so I still have one more color I want to do. I might do it more than once. Do I want something dark around the outside edges? I am going to put something dark around the outside edges. I was going to use black, but I think I can get away with the dioxazine purple. It's a... Master's Touch from Hobby Lobby. It's not coming out really fast. I'm a little nervous. I think I'm going to have one more go. I'm going to add a little bit of my almost exact same color as is already there, but it's a color shifting purple from Folk Art. Purple Flash. I can't have too much purple. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this paint right into my container. And that is the Amsterdam black. And I'm going to grab my weird tool. I'm going to put it all over there. It does stick down if I'm not careful. And it did. Again. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to wipe that off every once in a while, I think. I'm just going to have to use a whole lot less of it. And I'm just learning how to do it right now. Let's go for the wider edge. The first one worked well. I definitely want to find the other, the mate to this. There's a second one. I want to try and put it just on the edge and see what happens. That might work better. Let's do that all the way around. Just put a line to that. I'm pulling off some really pretty paint. I think I might have actually too much paint on here. I got over enthusiastic while I was waiting. I'm going to go all the way down to facilitate time. When I dribble, I want to dribble back on this stuff because I really don't. Actually, I have some. Some extra paint. Nope, well that was terrible. <laughs> That's like not good at all. Maybe I can wait to do something to that later. But I want to get rid of it right now. I think, because I can, I will. I just got to be a little more clever. I'm panicking. There. All right. So we're going to be okay now, as long as I can continue on my merry way without freaking out again. I will learn how to use this tool without dragging it all the way down to canvas. I want to do a wave like this. I'd like to think I could just leave the puddle of paint in the center and swirl it around and that might work. We're not there yet, so we don't really know. And I don't know how many, how many angles or how many tricks there are that I'll learn before I'm done playing with this, because it's really the only way I learn. It's pretty, but it, I'm worried about all that paint in the center. I think the next time I'll use half as much paint and leave it mostly on the outside third or quarter. It requires a gentle touch for sure because you've seen me drag right down a canvas. I did something that started this way and it aired on Paint Adventures from Priscilla Batsell, my other channel. And I had to tip it to make it make me happy. And it tipped well. It just was, it was an almost. So this is my, my remedy for that almost. I cannot let it rest in the paint or it sucks right down. 
This would be a heck of a test for the GAC 800 that I use in everything religiously. It keeps my paint from cracking. There, I've just returned almost to the beginning. And I kind of don't want to, um, to ruin what I started with. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that black down here. See if I can fake it out a little bit. So, I don't know what I could suck that up with. It's looking pretty cool now, but I'm pretty sure that that is going to crack no matter what I say. So how do I get that out of there? <laughs> I know. I have these cute little dishes that Carol didn't want. And that will help me get rid of some of that paint. And then I'm going to have to pour something else really quickly. All right, let's see what I can do with that. I think what I want to do is put some black right in the center and see what, see what it blows out to be. I was going to avoid it, but I'm not. It's a here goes nothing moment. I probably put it, should have put a little bit of white in there, I think. I suppose I could drop a little bit of gold in there. I wonder what that happened. Well, the flow toll will move those things. So, do I do it? If it doesn't come out, I don't do it. <laughs> so, I'll just take... As soon as the sticky wrap releases from my finger, I will just take... No matter what gold it is so far, it usually spreads in dendrites. So that'll be interesting. Kind of want some pink. I think I'm just going to keep adding those dots because I like them. And wherever you put the hot orchid from Color Art, it will bleed into whatever paint you have around it. I just did a birch tree and it bled. Even though I removed the paint from behind it, it bled. I want to blow those out too. Where's my straw? I know it's here somewhere. I cleaned up twice. There we go. Sorry about my head. It's kind of funky colored flower. So I think I'm going to use my hot orchid. <laughs> See what happens by blowing that out also. So 
So that's pretty interesting. Still not thrilled with the background color, but I think the other colors are distracting enough so it doesn't matter. trying to not indulge myself in thinking that I would scrape this off because there's too many things that I really like about it. I've got a few spots that I've got some canvas, but I think generally speaking, I'm not unhappy. I definitely want to keep playing with it though. Uh, what can I put in there? I can put... Yeah, in a second. <laughs> this is Venetian blue, which is iridescent. I've got two minutes left to tell you guys. I do sell my artwork and my email address, should you be interested in knowing how much something costs, is below the link tree right under show more. Venetian blue will often sink. I am looking for any way to, conf to camouflage the background paint in that flower, in those petals, because it is a little more brownish than I want to deal with. But I am just brazen enough to think I might be able to save it like continuing on the way I've been going. So check out the end screen exhibition video if you want to see what the prizes are for the monthly drawing. Changes every month. If you're a contributor through PayPal or Patreon, whose icons you can find on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner, or the links you can find on the link tree, which is the first blue link on the video, where you'll also find my Amazon link, my website, my, my Facebook pages, what else? Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. All right, I think that's going to be okay. I hope so. Otherwise, <laughs> I got trouble. I want to keep blowing out that. I got like a minute left. Part of me wants to put black in there and, and blow it out. Okay, well, if you know me, you'll know by now that you can find out everything that I te usually tell you on most videos. I have a couple of books. They're on the Amazon link. If I ever get a chance to finish it, I think it'll be pretty. I might need. All right, you guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Know I love you, and I will see you anon. If this changes at all, I wouldn't be really be surprised. <laughs>